What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're going to be talking about Scream 7 in this video primarily here today. So before I go any further, I do want to shout out UK for sending this information I'm going to address up front related to Nev Campbell. Thank you. And then I'm also going to touch on the speculation regarding the film possibly shooting in March, which is next month uh, at this point. Yeah, it's next month because we're finally in February. January felt long as hell for some reason this year. But In Touch Weekly has reported that Nev Campbell is considering returning. Nev is definitely considering returning, an insider exclusively reveals to In Touch. She loves the franchise and wants to go back, but on her terms. Now that there's been a major cash shakeup, Nev is expecting and deserves a bigger paycheck than what they offered her last time. Now, this is all honestly just more of the same, kind of like how Nev did months worth of PR with Screen 5 related to Radio Silence's letter <laughs> once upon a time ago. We know since, or we've known since November, she's on the wish list for Spyglass, according to Variety. It's also important to remember, Nev likely wouldn't simply just return as Sidney Prescott if the character is used incorrectly or if there's any sort of injustice to the character, no matter how much of an improvement the offer is from Spyglass. Like, let's say they have Sidney Prescott written in or penciled in to die in some capacity. Nev Campbell probably would have them tweak it because she's already made it clear she wouldn't do that. Now, believe it or not, as I've mentioned before, it's rumored that Nev is trying to use herself to get Melissa back on good terms. Now, if this doesn't happen, that does not mean that it isn't true. It just simply means that it did not work. The other thing regarding the filming, this is also connected to Nev Campbell, is that Planet Comic Con Kansas City posted this about Nev yesterday. Unfortunately, due to a filming schedule conflict, Nev Campbell will have to cancel her PC Casey appearance. We hope to host her at a future event, but we will have an announcement shortly on a new screen franchise member joining our incredible guest lineup. This appearance was supposed to happen in March. So if you got the idea that Scream 7 could be filming in March, well, from what I've heard, that'd be impossible unless they get Melissa back dust off the script that was already written and shoot it before may because that's when yellow jackets season three goes into production and jasmine will have other commitments to that series that take priority over scream seven as i've talked about in another of my past videos another way march becomes possible is if james somehow gets going rather quickly on another screenplay that's centered on sydney prescott if she's back whatever newbie characters he decides to cook up and if all of that can be done this month, I guess, yeah, you can start shooting in March, I guess. And on top of that, you have to consider, well, they don't have a cast either. <laughs> Nev Campbell isn't going to be the only cast member. You have to get, get your cast members, all of that stuff. They are so far off the tracks right now with Scream 7 from what I've heard that I just don't see that being the schedule conflict. I don't think Scream 7 is filming in March. I think what it could be is Twisted Metal. It can't be Lincoln Lawyer Season 3 because didn't Lincoln Lawyer Season 3 already wrap? Her return's already been announced and there's a steal of her from Season 3 that's been released by Netflix, I think. So it can't be for Lincoln Lawyer as to why she dropped out of PC Casey. And I don't see it being for Scream 7 because I, there's no way from what I've heard. Now, granted, there could be things going on that I haven't heard. But just again, based on what I have heard, there's no way she dropped out of this appearance because she has to film Scream 7 in March. They don't even have a script ready. <laughs> so they need to have something in place script wise first. They need to have a director. You need to have a lot of things in place before you can just start filming so i don't see any type of shooting going on in march related to sydney prescott or why she is dropped out of this comic-con appearance being connected to scream 7 it's definitely related to twisted metal or some other ip that i'm not thinking of but as far as that report from in touch weekly yeah it's just more of the same i'm not going to make this video any longer than it has to be if Nev Campbell, Sydney Prescott comes back, good. If she doesn't come back, oh well. It's just, I've, I've had 25 years worth of enjoying this character, and I hopefully have many more years ahead of me of films where she is just highlighted in the best way possible. Granted, some are better than others in terms of how she's utilized, I would say. Uh, but I'm, I'm content with what I have of Sydney Prescott. I'm content with it. 
Spyglass is honestly probably gonna have to just accept defeat on some capacity with Scream 7 because they had a they had a Sam Carpenter story going that that apparently was also split to be a Sidney Prescott story, but it still primarily was gonna be about Sam. There's no denying that. The problem is they shot themselves in the foot when they fired Melissa Barrera. And now it's created all this turmoil. They've lost their director. They're now trying to get a new one. So there's a lot of things up in the air they'll probably just have to accept as their own doing. And maybe they'll have to do the thing that many of us don't prefer, which is Spyglass is going to have to do a completely new screen film that is still in the same universe as Scream 1 through 6, but has no returning characters, no Kirby Reed, no Gail Weathers, no Sidney Prescott, no Sam Carpenter, no Dewey Riley's, no Billy Loomis's, none of it. It's all just going to be in the same universe and it's going to be a legitimate reboot. Maybe that is going to be what's better for them in this scenario. Business wise, because of how you've sank your own ship so badly, maybe a complete reboot is going to be the best option for you. It's your IP. You're going to have to do something with it. And I know that. <laughs> I just wish it wasn't your IP and so do countless others. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.